everyone and welcome to this week's science video. Today we're going to be making a rain cloud in a jar. So for this experiment you will need some water, some blue food dye, shaving foam and a glass jar or container. So to start off this experiment you are going to need to fill your jar with water. Now at the moment I have about 500 millilitres of water in my jar and it's not enough. I've got quite a large jar. I want to fill up my container until it is nearly full. I'm going to add some more water in now. Now as I said my jar is rather large. You might, you might want to use a smaller container, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so at the moment I've got now my jar full of water, which remember is a liquid. And this is going to be representing the atmosphere. And I'm going to now pour some shaving foam so it floats on the top of my water. So I've got a makeshift lever here, which I'm going to use to scoop out my shaving foam. And I'm going to top my water with that foam. And the shaving foam today is representing clouds. So remember, I've got the atmosphere, which is my water, and the clouds, which is my shaving foam. Okay. So now I'm very, very carefully going to drop a couple of droplets of the blue um, food dye. Now, do be careful because food dye does stain. So make sure you cover your work surface and that you have an adult to help you with this. So I'm going to just drop a couple of droplets into my cloud. Before I do that, just pause the video now and make a prediction. What do you predict is going to happen when I put these food drops into my cloud? What do you observe we're going to see? So remember, whenever we make a prediction, we always start by saying, I predict that. Okay, so I hope you've had a chance to make your prediction now. And now it's time to test our predictions and to then make a conclusion. So I'm going to drop some of my droplets into my cloud. And then the fun thing, that fun thing happens. We then need to wait and we need to observe to see what happens. So it may take a little while, depending how thick your cloud is. And hopefully what you can see is happening is that my food dye is coming through my cloud and it is starting to rain. I'm going to show you up close now. So I have made rain in a jar. Now, to vary this experiment, you could try adding different amounts of food colouring. You could make your clouds thicker, you could use less water, and you could see the difference, compare the difference of what happens when you alter the controls that you have used. So let's think about the science behind this. Well, as I said, the water represents the atmosphere, and the shaving foam represents the clouds. And what has happened is that my cloud has become really heavy because it's become filled with, with lots of water droplets. And then those water droplets have broken through the cloud and it's caused precipitation. Now precipitation refers to rain and snow. And what we're seeing now is a representation of rain. So when it rains, it's when the cloud becomes so heavy that the raindrop bursts through it and it causes precipitation. Now this is one part of the water cycle, which is a journey, a cycle of how it rains. And we have looked at this in school where we've looked at evaporation, condensation and precipitation, but we'll continue to look at this in the next couple of videos. I hope you have fun having a go at the experiment yourself and don't forget to conclude after you've tested your experiment and then why not write up about your experiment and the results that you find.